So let's say we wanted to use matrices to solve this set of simultaneous equations. So this time we've got three equations with three unknowns, x, y, and z. Okay, so uh, we're going to use exactly the same method that we used for the 2 by 2. So we know that we've got this matrix of uh, coefficients. 3, 2, negative 1, minus 5, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 8. And that's being multiplied by x, y, z to get me 4, 4, 23. Okay? So, x, y, z will be equal to the inverse matrix of 3, 2, minus 1, minus 5, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 8, multiplied by 4, 4, 23. Okay, so on my calculator, I'm going to go to matrix, define matrix A as three rows, three columns. 3, 2, negative 1, negative 5, 3, 1, 1, negative 1, 8. So let's see what that looks like. Um, matrix A to the minus 1. Right, so this would be 5 over 31 minus 3 over 31, 1 over 31, 41 over 155. 5 over 31, 2 over 155, uh, 2 over 155, 1 over 31, and 19 over 155. And that is multiplying with 4, 4, 23. Okay, so let's define matrix number 2. So this one's got three rows, one column, and it's just the 4, 4, 23. So matrix calculation, do matrix A to the minus 1 times by matrix B, and we get 1, 2, 3. So the solutions are x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. And that solves the set of simultaneous equations.